online. Yeah. So it does. It hurts. I've actually noticed that because when I was in school in Boston, we had they had a little copy shop um, on right on the main drag where the school is, and the school that I went to, you know, Northeastern was a big school, and everyone went for the books there, and then right. they went out of business. They had like two, three locations. And they went out of business, which is kind of because everything you can buy, you can buy it online. Or yeah, you, it online. you can buy it online, and or you could just like rent it from Chegg and stuff like that. Like other, you know, there's a bunch of like copy books and stuff like that you can get right. online. So, so, but you haven't been noticing that never, that never, because I, I don't have the schools. I didn't do the work for the schools like that. My my is more business related. Right. So schools, you know, I do work for the schools. But not for the student part of it. Right. So, do you um, like how like a job like that? How long would that take you? Like, say, I wanted like a bunch of business for old friends. Do you do business cards, right? We do business cards. So, like, say, if I wanted not six four by six whatever business cards. But say, I wanted like a you know a thing about like a hundred, like a thousand. Business card, depending depending on, on what's involved, you could be looking at two three days. Start to finish. Oh, it really takes that long. Oh, you. Well, it depends. Well, see, the, that's the other thing is you're not the only customer. Right. There, 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 I've got a, I've got a list of customers. <laughs> if, if you were the only customer, I'd have it done for you in an hour. Do you guys do uh, design? Uh, we do design work. Uh, so that can be all, all the way from design to, to the finished product. Yes. Oh wow! So that could that could be like you know a week or two. It doesn't take that long. It depends on, on what you're looking for. <coughs> uh, I've got a my manager does a very good job doing design work. Right. So you know she takes a lot of it home and does it at home too. Do you know how to design, or you just know how no. to just press the button? I know how to press the button. That's good. Uh, I know how to run the store. I didn't didn't go to school for design work. So I don't know. I can do a little. Did you bit. go to school just for pressing the button? Is, I is went to school to run a press, actually. Right. So, so they <laughs> so actually. I started from I started from the bottom, worked my way up. Right. So they actually had the press at the schools and stuff like yes. that. Now, do you know how it's changed at the school? I don't know if you know about what the school's technology is. But is I have a clue school? anymore as what the schools have anymore. I haven't been into a school to. What to side do you have a printing press thing? Like, is it one of those? Uh, What's his name? They invented the printing. Well, uh, Gutenberg. Gutenberg. Yeah. Was it like one of those? I, I worked on one of those, and there is actually locally there is a place that still runs the old presses like that. Oh wow. Uh, those, those are called letter presses, and actually right around the corner here is, uh, like is right a place there. called over on Felon, which is off of Bliss. Yeah. Uh, there's a place called Letter Press, and that's what they do. It's they just the press old, letters. Old lead. Yeah. Like what do, you, what do you mean by le what's letter pressing exactly? Letter press is is uh, is lead, which goes into oh lead dirt oh lead, L -E. lead lead type. Oh. So they'll 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 still copy that way. But isn't lead bad for you? Lead is bad for you. It's, well, you guys, it's still, they but still but you still need it. It's still it's still you still need to have it right. done. Right. Now, um, so you've been doing this for about sixteen years now. I've been with this company for 16 years. 16 years. Now, how long do you see yourself? Do you see yourself doing this for quite a while? I see myself doing this probably until I retire. Which would be? We'll let God decide that. <laughs> Just taking it day by day right now? <laughs> I've got at least another 25 years. Really? Yeah. So you, now do you work, now what are your hours at the store? The store, we're open 8 to 6, Monday through Thursday. Yep. 8 to 5 on Friday and 9 to 1 on Saturday. So, and Sundays for Sabbath? Sundays were closed. For Sabbath, you just, you know, just rest and relax? I try. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys, uh, now, is there like a specific day where it's really busy that you notice a lot of customers come in? We, we can't pinpoint that. We can't pinpoint a month because one month, you know, February might have been slow this year, but very busy, <coughs> we don't yeah. know. It, so I can't go by month to month, day to day. A lot of businesses have busy seasons. Do you guys have a busy season, or are you no, just that's, always that's, busy? No, that's we just we're we're consistently busy. Some months are busier than others. Right. Um, but to try to predict it, we can't. Yeah. So, like, do you work as much as summer as you do in the other month? Like, exactly. you know, you don't go to the beach as much. Like, take time off. off is very no beach, <laughs> no barbecues. I try to take I try to take long weekends, but sometimes that doesn't work. 
Yeah. You guys have now. How big is this this print shop? My shop? Yeah. <clears throat> I have two color presses, which are, are big color copiers. Like um, the ones like I would see at school, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Right. I have a black and white machine, mm. um, which does 105 copies a minute. Um, I do blueprints. Mm. And I do oversized color copies. So I've got a, I've got a uh, an inkjet printer right for that. Yeah. You have to do posters. And do you guys have? Uh, now is it is it just one? It's just one floor, just one. One big floor, room. one big room. Like kind of like this. Yeah. Is it is it kind of like this? Yeah. Is it like a big wide open? It's a big wide open with a with a counter in the front. Are there cords yeah. everywhere for all the, the printers and everything? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, you know, we, we have no, no, no. We the the, the cords are are by the plugs. Yes. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, so sixteen years doing that. Now, do you see like is there any new technology coming out that's going to make that you see in the future that's going to make it a little more simpler? Has the technology made anything a little more complicated? Like you have to take an extra st step to do something? No, actually, uh, the technology now I think is uh, is made it easier. To uh, to get the work done quicker. Yeah. So as for what what's ahead, I don't know what's ahead. We'll have to wait. Only time. Only will time tell. will tell. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is Bob from the uh, Copycat Print Shop. Yes. Don't get it confused yeah. with printing Copycat Print because it's two, two, different, two different things. Two different things. And you guys are located. One thirty eight Memorial Avenue, West Hartford. For near the. Right off the Rotary, across the street from Bob's Discount Furniture. Okay, so if you guys need any copies or anything like that, copycat's the place to go. Thank you, Bob, for being on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome back to the Crepes Tea House. This is my second guest, Stoss. We're over here, big talk with little Joe, yep. winning. Stoss, yes. thank you for being on the show. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, Thank you for having me. Your last name is Spanen. Yes. Spanen. Yes. Is there a G? No, there's no G. You no got G. it right. Spanen. Yes. Spanen. Stas. Spanen. So you are actually a painter. That's true. And you are actually, he's actually World's Guinness, you're in the World's Guinness Records as the youngest professional artist. Is it, do they use artists or is it painter? It's artist and uh, yeah. It's actually happened in 2002 when my paintings had been sold to the galleries and museums around the world and uh... Your what was being sold? Paintings. Your, your, what are those? Artworks. Oh, 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 I thought you said fittings. Fittings, no. oh, your paintings. So you were, what, you were 12 when that happened, right? That's true. Guinness Book of World Records. My, actually, this shirt could be Guinness Book of World Records for the ugliest shirt for a talk show host. But we'll talk to him about that later. All right. So you you actually um, you've been painting since how long have you been since you've been painting? I uh, started when I was four, so that's been for good sixteen years. I was I think I might have been still in diapers when I was four. I don't know. Late bloomer. So you were actually painting now. Um, where did, what what made you decide to paint? I actually never had a choice. I feel. I you were forced to paint. <laughs> I wouldn't you say were a tough childhood. Yes, I wasn't forced, but I was doing that, and I always had fun with it. So it's kind of came natural. So it came natural. So it's like that. Is that what you did in your spare time? Uh, you just painted. Uh, basically, I mean, I went to after school back in Russia. Basically, I went to uh, after school program when we did a lot of painting, and that's where it started. And. Uh, now I'm at the University of Hartford, continue painting, and uh, I see that as my career. Right, yeah, I mean, some of these paintings I've seen on, he has a, you have a website, and some of these paintings are phenomenal, like, Thanks. and I saw the one where you're 12 years old with the horses, it's just, I could never do that, I still can't do that now. Uh, but, so, you were actually, now, I read on your biography on your website yes. that you actually, you made a choice. It was either you painted, mm -hmm. your parents told you you'd either paint or you would uh, do something with graphic arts or visual arts or... Oh no, chess! But yeah, play chess! Uh, basically, I went for this after school program that I was telling you. Right. And we had several choices there and chess was one of them and I was kind of interested and my uncle actually has some background with the chess. So that was one of the choices that I would be 
be interested in going to Canada. But then I decided art because that was I had more fun with it. Yeah, yeah. It's chess. I'm actually pretty good in chess. I haven't played chess in forever. But I mean, this is definitely. Uh, I say I've got you a lot farther than playing uh, playing chess. So that's I did a good choice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that that's not that's a phenomenal choice. I mean, actually, if you hold up, sure, show Western Mass, you're actually like pretty well known in the area, right? Even yeah. in Boston, New York, internationally. I mean, I for this uh, season, I'm going to have exhibit at the Jewish Media Center in Springfield on April 3rd. There's going to be the uh, opening reception, and it's going to be until the 8th. Now, how old were you when you drew this? I mean, that's a really new series of work that being, I've been painting for the year, last year. So you drew that last year? Be I mean, basically, yes. Because I drew this about 10 minutes ago, and obviously, as you can tell, um, my artistic ability is awful. So that that just goes to show you how talented this kid is. I mean, at you were drawing at four. Uh, I mean, this would have been just lines for me, and no face or anything. I'm pretty sure if you would do that pretty regularly, you could achieve a better success. You think so? Hundred percent. I think everybody, if they would uh, work hard on something, even if they don't think they have a talent, right. they will have a sort of success. Because I used to take art classes and. I was like, Miss, I can't draw. She's like, No, you can. I'm like, No, my drawing sucks. Look at this. And it actually hasn't gotten any better. I mean, what do you think's wrong the besides good... the picture? <laughs> but like, what could I work on? It? The good thing about painting, basically, if we're talking about the like work class paintings right now in the modern art, uh, this... there is <laughs> there is let me finish. There is uh, no good or bad. Right. Basically. Uh, there is some room for being like this, and if you prove to the art world that this is as much important as something as like Picasso did, or uh, I think so, Madeleine or others, if you could prove that, this could be cause for those dogs. So it's not about basically what uh, what it is that the end. It's basically how you do that and what kind of conceptual conceptual uh, ties that you can. Uh, bring in. I mean, paint, it, painting in art, art in particular, is very subjective. Like, there's no wrong or right way to do art. Definitely. So, I mean, what made you uh, like? If I said buy this for a hundred dollars, would you do it? If I if I would like it, if yeah, that do, would. Well, do you like it? Uh, <laughs> that's a tough question. I mean, well, your last one's last. I'm gonna say no. No, I think there is some potential. Yeah, sure. Potential. I like that. Now, um, what made you, now do you draw, what kind of picture paintings do you draw? Because like some people draw like abstract um, designs and stuff like that. You draw people, right? Yes, I do figurative art mostly because I find it's fascinating to kind of draw people for me. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. But it's also, it's kind of historical paintings because uh, a lot of reference that I use is black and white photography from the uh, late 18th, early 19th century, and uh, all of this kind of history inter interests me, and I think that uh, this combination could be something that could interest other people as well. Yeah, I mean, um, when you started drawing, did you use, because I remember when I, when I draw, you could draw, like, you could use pencil, or then you can use a chalk. Or the what, what's that stuff? Charcoal. Yeah. yeah and then charcoal. You use charcoal. You can uh -huh. use charcoal. Like, how do you make this? This looks pretty uh, intense stuff. So I don't know how you how do you do, how do you draw that? Like, do you always when you draw? Do you always use the same stuff to draw? Uh, I mean, most of my paintings are made in oil, mm -hmm. but when the painting gets large, like I just finished the painting, which was uh, six feet by. Four feet, like that. Like, yeah, a little bigger. So, wow. when you do like painting like this, of course you use charcoal or pencil to kind of outline some of the major parts. Mm -hmm. But uh, I usually try to paint to draw with my painting. So, 